Let's say confidence. Okay, I'll, I'll do something different. You do the number one. I'll do number one? Yeah. What do you look for in it? So the most important thing you look for in a leader is uh, the credibility, if they're able to work with the, with the team. Um, not someone that leads the group, but someone that works with them. I think the most important thing that you need to look for in a leader that you want to follow is the ability to relate to others and the ability to support them and mentor them so that they can achieve what they need to. So Christian, what's the most important thing that you look for in a leader you want to follow? Um, to be honest, I think it's perseverance because if you don't know what you want and you don't know what you're going for, you're not a great leader. You have to go for it and you have to know what you want. Someone who is very confident, shows a lot of responsibility and integrity. Well, that really depends. Uh, as a knowledge worker, I'd like a leader who will get me what I need to do my job and get the hell out of the way. Uh, I'm sure as you know, a military soldier, you just want somebody who will give you orders that will keep you from dying. So it, it really comes down to what type of leader you want for the job you're doing. The most important thing I look for in a leader that I want to follow is an enthusiastic leader. Yeah, and the ability to communicate. Yeah, charismatic. Mm -hmm. I think an important thing for a leader to have is determination and confidence so that you believe that they're truly wanting to accomplish something. They project themselves that they can lead you so that you feel confident you know, in them. Someone with compassion and someone who is just there to support you and has passion for what they do and gives you room to develop and grow. They have to be confident and they need to be able to admit when they're wrong. You really need to be an awesome people person in order to encourage the people to follow you. I think a great leader is able to remain calm in a stressful situation. It's great to be able to trust your leader and believe that they'll be able to deal with the crisis in a rational way and make the right decisions. Their ability to listen, to kind of understand what you need from them and be able to take that and adapt their uh, leadership style to that. Someone who you can tell that people want to be around them, people want to follow them. It doesn't necessarily mean charismatic, but people obviously other people see that they're a good leader um, and want to be on their team. For me, the biggest quality that a leader can have that I want to follow is compassion for those that they are leading. Um, for me, it's, it's really essential that um, they can go to, like, to my level and I guess all, be a peer, but also be a mentor. Just someone you know who's very knowledgeable and knows something about whatever project you're working on would be a really um, important skill too. Because mm -hmm. I mean, it's very hard to follow someone when they don't know what they're talking about. I think that would be confidence for me. I think it's really important that somebody believes in themselves so that they should leave them known. What's the most important skill or attribute you need to develop to be a great leader yourself? Okay, I'll answer this. What's the most important skill or attribute you need to develop to be a great leader? Hmm. Hmm. Um, the most important skill I look for when I want to be a leader is being able to listen to the people who are following me and being open to feedback. I need to be able to do the job that I'd be leading other people through. I think just believing in yourself that you are capable of teaching other people and accomplishing great things. If I were a leader, what I would like to be is very decisive. I think that's a really important quality. Be able to influence other people, right? Make sure that other people feel confident in myself, right, when I make decisions. I will approach people and be assertive, but um, I think potentially my tone or the way I do it is, is, <laughs> isn't the best way in terms of getting them on board with what you're saying and having you both walk away still moving towards the same goal I think is really uh, is really a, a tough thing to do. Just being a little bit more assertive, being able to tell people what they need to do and being able to lead a group a little bit better. For me, that skill is um, the ability to delegate. Um, more often than not, when I'm in a leadership role, I tend to try and do everything and um, you know micromanage, whereas I need to step back, delegate, and trust those around me to do a quality work and um, to strive and grow themselves. I think I need to work on that realizing that you can't be everyone's friend in order to be a leader and sometimes there are hard decisions that need to be made in order to get the job done. Being more bold um, and just being able to step outside my boundaries and being able to push myself so I can show others to push their boundaries and be as great as they can be.